Hello, it's Tom Myers, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa. <clears throat> Excuse me, coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. The sun is out today. Uh, spring is around the corner. I want to congratulate our girls basketball team for an outstanding season this year. They finished the year 20 and two with one of those losses coming last night to Northland, a very, uh, a very good Northland team that way. But congratulations to our girls on a great season. Congratulations to all of our participants at all levels in basketball, wrestling, bowling. Uh, and beyond that were happening in the, uh, in, in the winter season. It is now time for spring sports to start. Track will be starting soon, along with soccer, along with uh, uh, golf. Hard to imagine with the snow on the ground right now, but golf will be starting up. And then baseball and softball. We also have this, the musical coming up at the end of uh, the month or the end of March that way. So a lot of positive things happening that way, feeling like spring and everything like that. I want to take just an opportunity to talk a little bit about uh, what we want our students to do and what we want people to do is, you know, when you have an idea, go for it, see what's happening behind me here, you know, fat squirrel or flat or flat squirrel. Maybe this is only me, but I heard it from my son's hockey coach use the example of, you know, you want to be a fat squirrel instead of a flat one. A flat squirrel is the one that goes out in front of the car and goes back and forth and ends up being flat. Okay, you want to be that fat squirrel to, hey, I have a goal and I'm going across that road or I have a goal, I'm going to accomplish that. That's the kind of creating that we want our students to be thinking about. Have a goal and go for it. Don't turn around, don't look back. Yes, you may have to adjust along the way, but have that goal inside and I'm getting there one way or another, which also connects with a book that all of our teachers are reading called Innovate Inside the Box. We've been reading this for a while, having some wonderful conversations about it that way. The one chapter in here is called Risk Takers and the start of it says, life is too short to be scared and not take risks. I'd rather be the person that's like, I messed up then, I wish I had did that. So we wanna make sure that our students are taking those chances, challenging themselves in their learning, doing something different, learning something new. We should strive not to have an answer for every question, but a question for every answer as well. So I think whether you're two years old, nine years old, 28 years old or 94 years old, you need to continuously continuously be learning. And that is our goal for each one of our students and each one of our staff members to learn something new. So what's going to be the most effective for our students as teachers? And how am I going to learn the most as our students? There are many things out there online. Yes, there are textbooks. There is so much information out there online of what I want to learn and things I want to discover. Challenge yourself to learn more. Challenge yourself to try something new that may be beneficial for you. It may not work. Turn around. Let's do it again. Let's try something different. Make some adaptations. That's a philosophy for learning that we need to have. And we need to allow our students to have those opportunities as well. And we're striving to do that more and more within our system that way. On that note, I want to tell you just a few notes uh, for for upcoming early dismissals and no school days. March 24th is a two hour early dismissal for professional learning. Uh, April 2nd through 6th, there is no school. April 28th, there is also a two hour early dismissal for teacher professional learning. Our last day of school, somewhat tentative at this time is May 28th. There is making up two days that were missed that way. We missed three, but we're making up two of those days. Uh, that is the plan at this time, unless we have more days coming up and next week looks pretty good yet. So hopefully we have uh, uh, conquered the winter. I'm not gonna put any money on that or anything like that, but hopefully we have conquered the winter. And then graduation is Saturday, May 29th, Saturday as normal, but we did move the time to four o'clock this year instead of eight o'clock. Still working on how we're going to do graduation with social distancing and things like that. We will have some type of graduation. Just not sure what that will look like. It may be only family members and only a certain amount of tickets for those participating, similar to what we did throughout the year in basketball in many ways. Uh, we are having prom this year. That is May 1st. Uh, uh, it's for juniors and seniors in our school. We are allowing uh, guests who are also juniors and seniors from other districts to come as dates or people who have graduated who are under 21. We're not allowing underclassmen to come. There will be, mid, uh, there will be a variety of, of, uh, of mitigation strategies in effect during that time. And we'll explain more of those later on, but one of those is more than likely mask. I do not see that changing uh, for the rest of this school year and for our activities that way. So just so you're aware of that, but we are having a problem. We've, we're doing everything we can to make the school year as normal as possible, but also recognizing that there are some things that are not normal, as you know. Um, we are still keeping up with all of the mitigation strategies and, and um, actions that we have been doing 
and we have to continue those as well. Um, our staff was vaccinated or people who chose to get vaccinated were vaccinated on last Tuesday, uh, February 16th. The second shot or the second round is on Tuesday, March 16th coming up. So that will be here before we know it. Want to let everyone know that. And then the first day of school for the 2021-22 school year is Monday, August 23rd. That is tentative. That has not officially been approved. We will have a public hearing on a calendar, uh, likely at the April board meeting, but wanted to let you know that. That's the first day we're allowed to start uh, with students as well. So uh, there'll be some summer learning opportunities as well, but it's been long enough on here. Everyone have a great day, have a great weekend. I know it's Thursday, but yeah, the sun's out that way. Enjoy the day, uh, enjoy the sunshine, and we'll go from there. Have a great one, everyone.